Hi, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be showing how to make the three round kitchen scrubby. This is a great project for just a quick gift for somebody, uh, Christmas, housewarming gift, whatever. Um, or if you're planning on doing any craft fairs, this is a really nice small item that you can make quite a few ahead of time and uh, it'll be at a lower price point so it is a nice little item to get people to stop at your stand and you know at least start buying one or two small things so anyways uh, for this project you're gonna need 100% cotton yarn and then you're also going to need some polyester scrubby yarn you can use the 100% cotton scrubby yarn but I found that it doesn't have as much scrubbing power as the polyester kind so uh, use whatever your preference is but make sure it's a nice scrubby and then the hook size you're going to need is a size H and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and then your yarn needle to weave in your ends. This project works up pretty quick. We're going to start with the cotton side. You can do a magic ring for the center if you want, but I find it simplest and more reassuring to just start with some chains. So I'm going to set this one off to the side. So let's get started with our green cotton yarn. We're gonna make our loop right here. Cinch that down. Go ahead and chain three. And then put 12 double crochets into that first chain. Our 12 double crochets. Go ahead and slip stitch to the first double crochet. And in this project, I will not be counting the chain twos as a stitch, it's just gonna be the chain two by itself. So uh, when you're counting your stitches, make sure you're counting the actual double crochets themselves. Go ahead and chain up two more. For round two, we're gonna put two double crochets in each. So it's a double crochet increase in each stitch. stitch to the first double crochet. For round three, chain up two, and then we're gonna do one double crochet by itself, and then a double crochet increase in the next stitch. We're gonna do that all the way around. and slip stitch to the first double crochet from that round and you should have 36 double crochets by the end of this round. Now this is as far out as we're going on our original one here. You can see one, two, three rounds, that's it. And then you're gonna have this little edge round. So to do the edge round, we're actually gonna do single crochets in the back loops of each of our stitches. So let me set that one off to the side. Chain up one and in each of your stitches, usually you're working into this entire V stitch here, but instead you're going to be inserting your hook in the middle here and then only going underneath that back loop. So one single crochet for each and do that all the way around. six single crochets and a slip stitch into the first one and this is a great spot to tie off your yarn so that you can start 
with your scrubber yarn. If you prefer not to have to tie off, you can actually just basically do a color change, but instead of a color change, you're doing a yarn change from the cotton to the scrubby. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. Usually I'll get about 10 of these to this point and then break out the scrubby yarn and get them all done at once. So this is how I like to leave mine so that they don't get undone in the middle of the process. Now to attach your scrubby yarn, go ahead and insert your hook into that first stitch after your slip stitch. This is the scrubby yarn I'm using today. It is the polyester kind. You should be able to find the inside of your skein just like with any other type of yarn. If you're having trouble finding it, usually just poke your finger in the center and kind of pull out. You might end up with a little bit of uh, what we call yarn barf. It's okay, you're probably gonna end up using it pretty soon anyway. So there is our scrubby yarn. I'm gonna make a loop and place that over my hook. Notice the hook is already inserted and then we're placing our loop on. Something with the scrubby yarn that you will probably run into quite a bit that you don't run into with other yarns is it does like to snag on itself. So just be firm but gentle with it because if you pull too hard, it will rip. If you don't pull hard enough, it'll just stay where it's at. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull that through like a slip stitch and then chain up two. We're gonna start decreasing to make the back side of the scrubby. For the back side, there's actually only two rounds, even though it took three rounds to get it to this size. I found that two rounds brings it down really well. So for this first round of the back side, we will be doing a double crochet in the stitch that we're already in, and then a double crochet decrease over these next two stitches here. So just like that. So we have one, and then a decrease for the second stitch. And then we'll be doing another double crochet and then another decrease all the way around. Once you get to the end of that round, go ahead and slip stitch to the first stitch there. It is a little bit harder to see your stitches with the scrubby yarn. So just try and find a V shape up here right after your chains and you should be in the right spot. If you get the wrong spot, it's not the end of the world. It just might be slightly different than maybe you were intending. But either way, it should still scrub just fine. So go ahead and chain up two more. This is gonna be our last round. We're gonna be putting a double crochet decrease into each of the stitches here. So you should have 24 stitches currently and we'll be working them down to 12 stitches now. So that's our 12 decreases there. We're gonna find the top of our first decrease and slip stitch there. And this is the part where you gotta be fairly careful about how you pull it through because we are finishing off. I'm gonna trim off the yarn and then gently pull it through, trying to keep this cinched down, but also not rip the yarn because this stuff is prone to tearing apart at that point in the project. So now we've got this little gap right there. We're gonna grab our yarn needle. Go ahead and thread that through. And if you do find that you're having a harder time seeing your stitches, having a variegated yarn is kind of helpful because then you can see the contrast between different parts of the stitch against the stitch next to it. So just a little tip for finding your stitches, especially for this next part. We're gonna be taking our yarn needle and bringing it from the center of the project outwards through the tops of each of those last 12 stitches. So we have one, two, three. Make sure you're cinching it down as you go because you will not be able to cinch it down at the very end. And then 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. usually do is I pull the yarn over to here and just go ahead and secure that the rest of the way so that it doesn't come undone. And again, be firm but gentle. Pull it through without ripping it is the goal. So, all right, once you have it like that, go ahead and stick your needle in and poke it out just through one of the stitches in the side. Tail all the way through, take your needle off of there, trim the yarn, and that is your little dish scrubby. So, have any questions about this project or if you have any tutorials you'd like to see me do in the future feel free to comment below thanks for watching